So when we pray to them and we, we are wearing our turquoise and our silver, they look at us and they say, there is one of our children that knows where they are from and where they are going. What are they asking for? Let's give it to them. <laughs> share a little bit of information about the uh, four worlds. In our traditional teaching, everything is based on the sacred number four. And so we have the first world, which has four names, Nehoshin, Neharpa, Nehaten, Ahani. Those are some of the names that are applied to the uh, first world, which is the uh, place where all life began and then we have the second world which is the blue world or turquoise world then the third world which is the yellow world which is the third world at the three-dimensional environment and everything in this world in the third world is based on the sacred number four so that we can know how to live in the next world which is the fourth world and the uh, jewelry that we wear the turquoise and the uh, silver is uh, symbolic of um, the worlds that are in the past and the world that is in the future. There are four types of metal in this world. There's the black metal, the blue metal, the yellow metal, and the white metal. And the white metal, of course, represents the fourth world, which we haven't experienced yet. And in this world, of course, we wear the jewelry of the turquoise. The turquoise is just to let the holy people know when we are addressing them that we understand our origin, which is, of course, from the second world before we came into this world. So when we pray to them and we, we are wearing our turquoise and our silver, they look at us and they say, there is one of our children that knows where they are from and where they are going. What are they asking for? Let's give it to them. And so it is that everything in our traditional teaching is based on four. Even the uh, four types of uh, ceremonies that we have. A lot of people forget that we have Nahara, Nta, Nakai. And then there's another one that has been lost. And they call that Nashir, which would probably mean the. Uh, the four different ceremonies is walking with the holy people, sitting with the holy people, standing among the holy people, and then, of course, kneeling before the holy people. So those are the four ceremonies. And the last one that I mentioned is the one that is, no, is gone. Nobody knows it anymore. So those are the teachings of our people of all things being based on four and why we wear turquoise and silver, silver being symbolic of the next world, which is the fourth world. So we have the first world. And those are the uh, four worlds. And that means the dark world, the turquoise world, or the blue world, and then the yellow world, and then the white world. Those are the four worlds. <laughs>